Hello all. Just look at the terms. Infinitula, infinitula. Isthmus, isthmus. Placenta, placenta. Placentation, placentation. Estivation, estivation. Two to times I written. Why do you know? Because these terms appear in two different locations in two different chapters might be. So I'm going to explain what they are. Okay. First, infundibulum. This infundibulum is a stalk-like structure that connects pituitary gland to hypothalamus. The pituitary gland, we know, it's a master gland of the body because it controls the secretions of all the other glands in our body, right? And this infundibulum is a stalk-like structure by which the pituitary gland is attached to the hypothalamus. Coming to infundibulum number two. This infundibulum, second infundibulum term belongs to female reproductive system. And in the female reproductive system, there is a fallopian tube which consisting of three components. Number one, infundibulum. Number two, ampulla. Number three, isthmus. So first one, infundibulum. This is a funnel-like structure which will collect the ovum from the ovary. So that is infundibulum. So two different terms. Next, isthmus, isthmus. Here also. So coming to isthmus, when it comes to neural control, chemical control and coordination chapter, isthmus is connective tissue that connects two lobes of thyroid gland. It's a connective tissue which connects two lobes of the thyroid gland. Coming to this isthmus, it's a second part of the fallopian tube of the, the third part of the fallopian tube of female reproductive system. Infundibulum, ampulla, isthmus, which further opens into uterus. So that is difference. Next, coming to third term, placenta, placenta. Very simple here also. Placenta. In the morphology of flowering plants and in sexual reproductive flowering plants, you might have seen this term called placenta, which is a soft cushion-like tissue, which is present in the center of the ovary to which ovules are attached. That is called placenta. And coming to placenta, in the human reproduction chapter, you have seen this placenta term. After implantation process, the trophoblast gives rise to some finger-like projections called chorionic villi, and they interdigitate with the uterine tissue to form a structural and functional unit between the baby and mother, between fetus and mother, that is called placenta. So this placenta and that placenta both are different. Coming to placentation, placentation. It's very simple. Placentation. In the flower, in the bisexual and female flowers, the center, centrally located cushion-like tissue called placenta and ovules are attached to it. So, the way how the ovules are attached to the placenta, that is called placentation. So the arrangement of ovules in the ovary, in the female flower, bisexual flower also, that is called placentation, the arrangement of ovules. Coming to placentation in the human reproduction chapter, the formation of the placenta that we already discussed here. So the formation of the placenta is called placentation like the structural and functional unit between the mother and the fetus. That is called placentation. Formation of placenta is called placentation. Attachment of ovules, arrangement of ovules in the ovary is called placentation. So coming to estivation, estivation. It's quite simple, estivation. Here, morphology of flowering plants, you might have seen this, estivation. The arrangement of sepals and petals in the flower, sepals are petals arrangement. That is called estivation. In the morphology of flowering plants, you have seen that. Next, coming to this estivation, this is termed as the summer sleep. Uh, during summer season, there are certain or animals like uh, insects or uh, frogs, some other animals cannot tolerate the uh, high temperature conditions and they escape from that summer and find out the cool environment. So that is called summer sleep. So estivation is also called summer sleep. So these are the five similar terms but appears in two different chapters of need syllabus. Okay. Hope you understood. Thank you very much.